Lee Anderson says Labour and the Tories do not listen to the people of the Ashfield constituency where he swept to victory. Lee Anderson has vowed to give Labour and the Tories hell when he takes his seat in the Commons after sweeping to victory in the general election. Mr Anderson, who defected from to reform UK from the Conservatives, was the first candidate of Nigel Farage's party to be declared winner, gaining 17,062 votes in Ashfield. He told reporters, the two main parties in this country do not listen to the people of Ashfield and other places like this across the country, but they're going to listen now. As I said a few weeks back, there's going to be a reckoning on election night, there has been a seismic reckoning in Ashfield and throughout the country. Reform are picking up seats tonight, make no bones about it. Next week, I'll be on the green benches with Nigel and a few others, and we're going to give them hell. Ashfield's results saw Labour's Ria Keen on 11,554, Tory candidate Debbie Solomon gaining 3,271 votes, and the Lib Dem candidate Daniel Holmes got 619 votes. Independent candidate Jason Zidrosny won almost twice the number of votes than Ms Solomon, with 6,276 votes. Reform UK is set to win 13 seats, according to the exit poll. Mr Anderson's win marks the first time Reform have managed to secure an MP at the ballot box. Mr Farage had earlier declined to say what number of MPs they would classify as a win, but 13 elected representatives is higher than predictions by most polls. The exit poll by Ipsos UK for Sky News, the BBC and ITV News, said Reform UK have a likelihood of 99% plus that Mr Farage will win the seat in Clacton, Essex. The party also saw an early boost as they polled ahead of the Conservatives in Houghton and Sunderland South, pushing the Tories into third place. Reform UK candidate Sam Woods Brass received 11,668 votes to Conservative candidate Chris Burnicles 5,514. Labour's Shadow Education Secretary Bridget Phillipson won the constituency with 18,837 votes, achieving just over 47% of the vote share and a majority of 7,169. Reform has seen similar success on the second seat of the night, coming in second place in Blythe and Ashington with 10,857 votes, as Labour secured 20,030 votes and the Tories came third with 6,121 votes.